Closures have impacted more than just classroom learning. For many students, as we're hearing, they rely on those schools for consistent meals, breakfast and lunch. Michelle Benedict is the development manager for USANA Kids Eat. She leads a program that can help step up and meet this gap. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. I think it's one of the top concerns. I mean, there's a lot of concerns on the table, let's be <laughs> honest. But as we as we consider those kids that do rely on these school lunch programs, it's an important cause to consider. Base kind of foundation of understanding, what is USANA Kids Eat? What does your program do? So USANA is a health and nutritional company. We're worldwide. We have a foundation. It's our nonprofit wing. And the USANA Foundation has fed kids all over the world for several years. In this past year, we have started a local program. It's called USANA Kids Eat. Uh, it came from two programs that were already running in the Salt Lake Valley. And now we're just one program under USANA. We feed kids on the weekends. We do about 800 bags on the weekends. Um, and we also do bigger pantry bags for kids um, that, that don't have food over the long breaks, like the extended okay, Christmas like breaks. Christmas mm -hmm. or holidays like that. Yeah. So you're used to stepping up and filling this, this is, gap, kind of the in-between yeah, moment. This is what we do. Yeah. How has this yeah. pandemic, how has this situation changed what you do? Have you made any adjustments? We have. We've actually started a program for coronavirus relief. Uh, so what's going on out there with the schools is that they are still providing the school lunch programs for the kids that are at risk, mm -hmm. right? So these mm -hmm. kids can go to the schools still. They can still pick up a grab-and-go lunch during the day. Yeah. But we know, and the schools know, that some of those kids aren't going to make it. We know that some of those kids are going to make it to the school. Yeah, they're going to yeah. have a hard time leaving their homes and, and traveling. There are no buses. Mm -hmm. So kids that maybe are a little further away or kids that are young, you know, you think about a kindergartner that might be home alone. Sure. How are they going to get to the school? So our niche and where we're kind of finding our place in this whole effort is to provide these larger size bags for the kids that are staying home and aren't able to get over to the school and get that get that lunch that's provided every day. It's, it's such a good program. We just know that there are some kids that aren't yeah. going to be able to get there. So. Well, I appreciate what you just said, trying to find our niche. A lot of people stepping up and saying, you know, the yeah. big pieces are covered, but how can we fill in those gaps? And yeah. I see you doing that, and what a, what a great way to do it. How can we help? How can we support you in your so effort? So primarily, we need funding. We, we are able to order the food, pack the food, distribute the food, but primarily we need people to, to donate. We need corporations who want to get involved, private donors. It's all on our website, but this is something that nobody budgeted for. Sure. You know, this is something that was unforeseen. Uh, so we're just calling upon the community to get involved and, and to donate monetarily. Um, anything that you donate, 100% of that goes to food. USANA covers all of our operating costs, which is amazing. And so amazing. anytime you donate to our to our program, 100% of that goes to Food for Kids. That's a number we can feel good about. Yeah. A percentage we can get behind. Give us your website, please. It's usanakidseat.org. usanakidseat.org. Mm -hmm. Monetary donations being accepted. Yes. All of those funds going to purchase food to help kind of fill in these gaps for kids who can't get to the school system and access those brown bags or those grab-and-go lunches. Thanks for what you're doing. And thanks for stopping by and giving Thank us you. a chance to support yeah, you in those efforts too, Michelle. We appreciate it.